Here at Fondy High, there is a class designed to help students find their inner chef led by family consumer science teacher, Ms. Schwantes. Um, this is my fifth year teaching family and consumer sciences. Um, I actually went to Fondy High, so it's a pleasure to be teaching here. Um, and I don't actually have a huge culinary background, but I am pretty passionate about cooking and getting some of these skills for the kids. My favorite part about teaching culinary courses at the high school is helping kids learn and like build confidence uh, in their skills. So maybe they aren't the best in uh, textbook based class like math or science, but they can really shine in culinary. Um, my favorite part of this class is when we all had to make different like fruits or vegetable dips and then we all went around and tried it and it was really nice to be able to talk to each other and get to like try everybody's. My favorite part is the labs whenever we make food. Uh, my favorite part was probably making all the friends that I have well, learn how to cook too. Typically a semester starts with two weeks in the classroom learning about safety and sanitation while in the kitchen. So lab versus desk work, we're in the lab about once or twice a week, um, which equates to about 20, 30, 20, 25 recipes a semester, which is excellent, amazing, so. Uh, the favorite, my most favorite thing that I've made is probably, yeah, the cookies, because they were really good, and yeah, who doesn't like cookies? Besides our last lab, I would say focaccia bread, which we made the week before spring break. Guess I enjoyed the um, the bi biscuits. My favorite was when we made our very first lab, which was um, was it play doh? Yeah. It was play doh because we got to get to like know our group and we got to be able to get to know each other. Um, it's really cool to see them from the beginning of the semester to the end and how much they've grown and how much more confident they are. They taught us how to, you know, cut like fruits and vegetables safely, not cutting your fingers and how to cut, right? Most thing I've used has been knife skills, which was taught week two of the class. Now I can actually use an oven. I didn't know how first. Mine was probably learning how to recipe read because sometimes it's hard to be able to understand a recipe when you're looking at a phone, but once you know how to read it, you have to like learn, you have to set the oven first and then how to like prepare ahead of time. If you're interested at all in culinary, just do it, just try it. Um, we have semester courses or year long and you can still get credits for electives, so it won't, wouldn't hurt to try it. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. You know, I didn't really think it was going to be all that fun. I thought it was going to be kind of boring. But you're in the lab once or twice a week making good food, so it's fun. Um, if you're thinking about it, just do it because it's really fun and you get to know a bunch of people and in the end you get to eat the food you make. I guess it's okay to make mistakes and it's normal. And it's actually good to make mistakes because then you know what to do next. Next year, the personal culinary course will be going away. However, there are other family consumer science classes and an alternative culinary course. Um, so next year we're offering professional culinary skills. That will be a Moraine Park dual credit course. They have a culinary program there that you could jump right in with. For more information about next year's courses, ask Student Services. This has been Annika and Cooper with Cardinal TV.